Hello everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. Last time we took on the Goldenrod City Gym, and in this part, we are uh, gonna do some gambling. Because I figure I should actually show off the, the games in the game corner, rather than just kind of glossing over them slightly. There are two different types of games. Uh, first off, we've got the slots here. Um, there are... Oh, God. Uh... Dag nabbit. Alright, so you can, uh, you can bet one, two, or three coins. Uh, one coin means you'll win, uh, you'll only win if the, the middle row is a match. Uh, two coins, uh makes it so you'll uh, you'll win if any of the if like the top middle or bottom rows are a match of a, a match of three that is and three coins uh, lets you do uh, diagonals as well so that's cool so there are oh god there are uh, six different uh, pictures, I think, on the, uh, on the reels here. And, uh, yeah, they, obviously they all give different amounts of coins. Uh, three, ooh, nice. Three, uh, three cherries will give you, I think, six. Uh, Pikachus will give you eight. Squirtles are ten. Staryus are fifteen. Uh, Pokeballs are fifty. And three sevens in a row gives you 300 coins, and I somehow managed to do, uh, to get three sevens in a row three times in a rather short amount of time. So, I got incredibly lucky here. And by here, I mean off screen. Not sure why I'm still going for this, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop now so that I don't use up all of my muns. And instead, I'm going to show the other game! This is always the one I, I preferred back when I was a young lad. The card flip game. So, you you choose one of two cards, and it's basically... It's basically like roulette. You can choose one of any sort of category and uh, basically just guess whether the the card that's flipped is in said category or not. I'm just gonna say it's a Jigglypuff. Sweet! Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. But yeah, once, uh, once a card is flipped, that card is taken out of rotation, which means there's there are only going to be five Jigglypuffs the next round, rather than six. And, uh, it, it resets after 12 cards, so you don't just get an automatic win on card number 24. But anyways, we are going to go to this lady here, and we are going to purchase ourselves a Sandshrew! Sandshrew, the mouse Pokémon! Disliking water, it lives in deep burrows in arid areas. It can roll itself instantly into a ball. Uh, no thank you. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's all I need. I do not need another Abra. I've, I've already got one of those, and it is, uh, it is, it's just kind of chillin' in my PC. And it's going to stay there for a very long time. All right, and there is one more thing I wanted to do before leaving Goldenrod City. I swear this is the last thing. So, apparently, uh, the boxes in the basement of the department store are not based on the, uh, on the time of day, but, uh, basically, if you just keep leaving and coming back, then, uh, the boxes will be moved around a bunch. So, we can just grab ourselves an Ultra Ball and, uh, sell it immediately. But, uh, I'm not sure if, uh, yeah, I think you have to actually change floors in order for this to work. So, uh, I'm just gonna keep doing this until the, uh, until I can get the, uh, the other two items. So, 
give me give me a second. Wow, that that didn't take long. We've got an ether. Ethan found ether. Hooray. It's not funny. And over here, we've got a burn heal. You better have it. It does not evolve Pokemon, contrary to what the programming of the Moon Ball might tell you. But anyways, um, gonna go and sell my Ultra Ball, BRB. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. On our bike. Because we're fancy. I'm so fancy. No, I, I, that, I don't like that song at all. I'm just, I'm gonna stop. And... Just stop, look, and listen, baby. I, I don't know. Let's let's fight a trainer. Oh, he's Vulpix. I do like Vulpix, and I I would consider using Vulpix if it wasn't a stone evolution. But uh, unfortunately, that is that is the case. Not quite a two-shot with headbutt. Doesn't look like. Lame. Finish it off with metronome! No. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Not gonna make you sit here for three hours waiting for... Waiting for metronome to give me a damaging move. At least not this time. I'll probably do that in... A battle in the not-so-near future. Yes, mother. Okay, let's let's go find out what that is. Moment of truth, our item is a repel. I mean, I'll take it. That's not bad, but uh I don't know. I was I was hoping for a certain other item that she can uh purchase for you. Alright, next up we've got Okay, why why do you need to prove things if she's already your girlfriend? I'm sure she likes you for who you are, Elliot. Seeing true! I just got one of those, and it's super cute. Here's where we have our our me ooh bone meringue. <laughs> ooh nothing, love it. Yes, here is where we where we spam metronome for several minutes. Wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting present to do that much. Jeez. Oh, you are a lucky bastard for getting a Meryl, because those are super rare in this game, and we will uh, we'll get to that later. But I'm not looking forward to that. Then, then again, there's something that's uh, on this route that's also super rare that I'm super not looking forward to. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that shortly. Mm, yeah, no. I, I just beat you up with a Togepi. You, uh, you didn't have much of a chance there. D even she knows it. I'm, I'm very sorry, dude. Pikachu! I kind of want to know, are there any, like, hardcore Pokemon fans who actually like Pikachu? Like, I I kind of do. I, it's, it's cute, but it's kind of, like, over-marketed. Like, I mean, it is the mascot of the series and all, but you you know what I mean, right? Maybe? Hopefully? I don't know. But, uh, I, ha I have actually been using... Okay. I've been, uh, really enjoying using uh, Pikachu in Smash Ultimate, which is kind of weird because I d never really used it much in, uh, any of the previous Smash games. 
And from what I can tell, it's n it's not that much different from uh, from Smash Four. I don't know. Anyways, it's it's a diglet dig diglet dig trio trio trio, except without the trios. We're just gonna om nom na nom nom. Loving all the flinches I'm getting this episode. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Zub it off! Alright, let's do it. I feel like I might win the Zub it off. Just, uh, just, uh... There, there's a bit of a chance. Okay, I was gonna say, if that's... If that one HP that he stole from me is gonna make me make it take a third bite to kill... That would... I would be irritated. Very, very irritated. Alright, you go ahead and growl at me. For some reason, bite is a special attack, so that's, uh... You're not really doing too much for yourself there, Diggles. You give what? You you gave me money. That's that's a thing that you gave. I really do not want to see the dexterity of your balls. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not into that. Erwin. Level two. Have there been any trainers so far who have used a level 2 Pokémon? I know it, like... E even on Route 30, like, there were there were trainers that used, uh, 3s and 4s, but I don't... I don't remember there being any 2s. That is, uh, one of the problems that many people, including myself, have with the, uh, the Johto games, is that their- their level curve is... kind of shit. Ooh, nice. But yeah, we- we won't get into the... We won't get to the really bad, uh the really bad stuff in terms of level curve until, like, uh... uh probably, probably a few episodes from now. Normally I would be worried about keeping Shade in against a Voltorb, but I don't think, uh, I don't think it actually learns electric moves in this generation. Not by level up, at least. Which is kind of sad. Ah, come on! Okay, good, good to know. How does that actually work, by the way? Do you just, like... Are you just, like, constantly drunk? Do you have, uh, do you have just really bad vodka breath? Please do not light my bat on fire. Well, at least you didn't burn it. I suppose that's... Fire... Why do you have Ember and Fire Punch? Why did you bother using Ember when you had Fire Punch? I don't get it! That seems to be, like, my new catchphrase lately, I've noticed, is I DON'T GET IT! I don't know. Let's just keep on... keep on biting. Okay, let's... Uh, confuse? Just realized that I... that's my first time using Confuse Ray. 
Okay. I'm sorry, Shade! You... You, you really need to evolve soon, which... will be happening fairly shortly. But, uh, not, not quick enough, unfortunately. Bonk. Nicely done! Oh, you poor man. You poor stupid man. Alright, going back to heal. Zoom, 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 zoom. Uh, this police officer here is also a trainer who is, uh, only challengeable at nighttime. If I recall correctly, he has four, er, four, two level 14, uh, growlets. But, uh, anyways. We've got grass. This grass contains Nidoran. Both genders of Nidoran, so that's... We're gonna begin both of those. Yep, kicking a Zubat. Best idea. And let's see if we've, uh... Let's see if we've got enough Pokeballs. I feel like 28 will do us pretty well for the three whole things that are available in this route. Nidoran Female, the Poison Pin Pokémon. Although not very combative, it will torment its foes with poison spikes if it is threatened in any way. Uh, yeah, no, you, you don't get a name. I'm sorry, I, I do like Nidoran, but I've used it way too many times. Alright, Arnie, what have you got? You've got a thing that we haven't run into yet. Yay, Venonat! Okay, why, why are you bot- why- why- I, I really don't get what the point is of Foresight. Like, yeah, it lets you hit ghost types with uh, normal and fighting type moves, but other, other than that, does it really have a purpose? Like, does it raise your accuracy or something? I, I don't really know. But anyways, uh, that's, that's that. Uh, if you so choose... Uh, you can register Arnie in your Poke Gear, and he will call you whenever there's a swarm of Yanma on this route. Yanma is normally one a 1% encounter, and I will be catching it normally, because I don't feel like waiting for him, so, uh, wish me luck. But before we do that, we're just gonna move along the rest of the route here. Gonna ignore the item. Oh, I thought there might have been a hidden item there. Lame. Alright, this is TM4, which I believe contains Rollout. So, uh, if you ever feel like being an annoying cow, there you go. You don't even have to be a cow, you, you can just be annoying with it. Uh, okay, I guess you have to talk to that trainer specifically in order to get him to challenge you. Sure, Brian. I, I really like how uh, how we've got a trainer named Brian using the uh, using the Pidgey line. It's spelled wrong, but otherwise that's that's uh, very fitting for Mr. Icavagon. Okay, no, that that's that's not okay. Getting tackled for a somewhat large amount of damage from a level 14 Pidgeotto when you are level 20 is not uh, not the best of things. All right, 
And, uh, so begins the search for, uh, both Yanma and the, uh, and Nidoran male. Hey, look, it's Nidoran male. Hooray. So, uh, the two Nidoran lines are, uh, they, they both become poison ground types when they, uh, Excuse me. Yeah, they both become poison grand when they're fully evolved, and uh, they learn a pretty, a pretty sizable variety of moves from TMs. So, d hello, Ditto. All right, let's try that again. This time with an egg. But yeah, both, both versions of Nidoran are very good Pokemon. Uh, Nidoran male is, uh, more offensive, female is more, more based on defense. But, uh, yeah, both of, they're both worthy additions to any team. And, uh, yeah, we've, we've got ourselves both of them now. Nidoran male, the poison pin Pokemon. It raises its big ears to check its surroundings. It will strike first if it senses any danger. What I've never really gotten, though, is what these things are supposed to be based on. Like, I can kind of see them being based on rabbits, but, like, their their evolutions, especially the final ones, don't really look all that rabbity to me. Like, are they rabbits that somehow become large dinosaur things? I don't even know. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and... D Excuse me? I can't run away from a Pidgey. Alright, let's let's search for, like, 15 minutes for a Yana. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Bicycle Shop. How are you today? I've... I've... Uh, well, I guess I have run into a few people on my bicycle, so, uh, sure! That's... okay, I'll take it. Thank you! HOLY CRAP! Alright, so, uh... Yeah, did, did I say 15 minutes? I meant an HOUR AND A HALF! It's, uh, it's... it's been a time. Jordan's been here, uh, keeping me company, making sure I don't go entirely insane. It's only sort of worked. But then we went insane anyways. Yeah, I f eventually we devolved into just making random Pokemon cries. Don't. Kill it. Fall in. Okay. That's- I'm- I'm just gonna stop right there. Make sure I'm on pack. <laughs> Make sure the D-pad doesn't fuck me over again. We're gonna throw a Pokeball at it. And we're gonna catch it. Boink. I didn't say it was gonna be that Pokeball. That animation looked way too much like teleport. And it kind of made me. <laughs> yeah, Yanma with teleport. He's fast enough. Excuse me. Wow, that made me kind of lightheaded. <laughs> Yanma, the clear wing Pokémon. Its large eyes can scan 360 degrees. It looks in all directions to seek out insects as its prey. Maybe that's why there were none of them on this route, because there are no goddamn insects! <laughs> it doesn't make sense! <laughs> ah! <laughs> and you want to know what the best part? <laughs> the episode's not over yet! <laughs> I've taken on all the trainers. I'm gonna go and deposit my Nidorans and also heal. All right, so time to time to move on here. Uh, this guy's kind of standing in an awkward spot. We're we're gonna ignore him for now. And enter National Park. So so nice and peaceful here. 
Bork, 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 bork. Yeah, that's a Persian. Oh. Fufusha. <laughs> fufusha, fufusha, fufusha. Alright, so, uh, this lady here. She gives you a quick claw! Which, uh, makes it so your Pokémon will occasionally, uh, strike first during the battle, even if it's, uh, slower than the opposing Pokémon. I'm gonna give that to Omelette, because, uh, she's the slowest member of the party currently. She just tore a claw right off that Persian. Yeah. That poor Persian. Poor Fufusha. That poor Fufusha. Alright, so there are a few trainers in this park. There's also one new Pokémon here that is, uh, thankfully not nearly as rare as Yanma. So, uh... It'll still take us <laughs> Don't even say that. It's gonna get headbutted. Bonk! Oh no! Shooting eye beams out of your mouth. Yeah, that animation really does suggest that that should do damage. <laughs> yeah. Mouth lasers. Hello, Barry. Goodbye. Oh, that was it. Okay, cool. Force in the bubble. She just insulted my Pokémon's looks! What a bitch! Alright, is this the one thing? No, it's not Weedle. It's a cute though. It is pretty cute. I will, I will give it that. Uh, you're, you're not a trainer, are you? Yeah, I can't do that because the 3DS doesn't have a printer. Here we go! Sunkern! It's, uh... Speaking of forgettable things. Yeah, fun fact. Up until Generation 7... Se Bye. <laughs> I'm just not gonna finish that sentence until we find another Sunkern. Hello. You are a trainer. I'm, I'm not staring at you. You looked at me first. Yeah, you were literally just walking past mine to your own meat lax. Christ. And she threw an oddish at you. It hurt. It landed on your face. <laughs> exactly. And it smelled really bad. And then you threw your egg at it, and it, its face landed on his face. A lot of face off. Yeah, it's battle. It's it's a literal face off. Mm -hmm. All they consist of. All right. So omelet. I, I don't remember what uh, Omelette's next move is going to be, or when it's going to get it, but uh, it's not going to be a damaging move. So, uh... Unless it evolves. No, even if it evolves, it's, it doesn't get a damaging move until, like, the 50s. That would be why you do this. Right. Bye! And that's why... Sorry we... about your mother. <laughs> oh. And that's why we keep Metronome forever. That and because it's fun sometimes. Except when you explode. Except Which when you explode. I've legitimately never seen before. Like I've never seen a metronome that kill like these. It uh, it happened to me earlier in this playthrough. Oh really? Yeah. Sometime in during the second gym, I got. I don't remember if it, I think it was explosion and not self destruct. No, you went bubble. And where did you get the stone to evolve this Raichu? Where? Also, where did you get a Pikachu? They're not available in Johto. Eggshells? Ah, yes. Okay. I thought you were referring to Razor Leaf. I was like, what? No. Those, those are leaves, yeah, my that's, dude. That's what Bayleaf's neck is made of. <laughs> Uh, you a trainer? No. Yeah, I, I don't care about your mail. Boy, the dialogue in this game. So, emotional Hello. This is, this is mail. It makes me happy. I don't get to see the mail. 
but uh, I'll just have to take her word that it makes her happy. Bye. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, fun fact. Before Generation 7, Sunkern, had, Sunkern was the actual weakest Pokémon in existence. It had the lowest base stat total of any of any Pokémon, including Magikarp. And then when Bot happened? And uh, then Solo Wishiwashi happened. <laughs> and uh, then I hopefully caught it eventually. I... I don't know. I know that Cosmog doesn't learn any damaging moves. Nor does Cosmo M, I don't think. Yeah, Cosmo M is a cocoon. It's, it's, it's the one cocoon. of the things that does harm. Yeah. Oh. I think Cosmog only gets cosmic power, and that's it. Wait, can I do this one? Sure. <laughs> Why do I get Sunkern of all things? Sunkern, the seed Pokémon. It lives by drinking only dewdrops from under the, le the, the the leaves of plants. It is said that it eats nothing else. That is the worst diet that I've ever heard of. Right? It's it's pretty pretty high up there. <sighs> uh, yeah, you're 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 fine. I think you're the last trainer, and there's uh. Like, there's, like, an item that I want to get here, and then we're going to end. But first, we got to take out another Oddish. We're, we're not going to throw leaves at this one, because it's an Oddish. Yep, absorb on a grass type. Best of ideas. I think it gets poison powder by this point, at least. Yeah, that's quote unquote damaging. It's better than absorb. Yeah. It it will do more than one damage per turn. Vlotorb! You you can have leaves thrown at you, my friend. Of yeah, the I don't. Explosion I don't. Or Sonic boom yeah, I, I don't think it. It might get Sonic Boom by this point, but it's not. I don't think it gets an exploding boom yet. Yay! Level. No. No. What? 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 Again. Boy, Can I help you, Ralph? This Ralph guy really wants to see you. Well, he wants to fight me, apparently. Fight me. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that for a while, because Rat 32 is, uh, like, super far away. Oh, I lied. There's two items that I want to get here. My bad. Because there's this one here, which I don't even remember what it is. A Parley's heal. Cool. Totally worth it. And then, over this way... That barely visible fence, though. I was gonna say, how far down is it? Jeez. TM28, that also is... known as Dig. Alright. So, uh, I'm just gonna leave you on this music for a little bit. I forget if there's anything down here. There might be a hidden item. There we go! Full heal! Fleal! Fleal. Alright, so that is going to be it for this train wreck of an episode. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Silver, we are going to be talking to the uh, awkwardly positioned uh, park ranger or whatever he is. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be doing some stuff. It's going to be great. And, uh, I mean, it's, and it's going to be great. To be fair, to the viewers, it's not a train wreck because they didn't fully experience the hour and a half that we did. That's true. Ah, hello. Ranger! Slightly less awkwardly positioned park ranger. Yeah. Hold on, least... let's let's go to the let's go back to the the more awkwardly positioned one. For science. Yes, for for 
for science. Here we go. I'm just here. All right. Not standing behind the desk, nor am I standing beside it, nor am I standing in front of the door guarding it. I am just everywhere in between. All right. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.